Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. A little while ago, we did a series of FreeBSD Monday videos related to desktop managers or desktop environments. This included GNOME, KDE Plasma, Cinnamon, XFCE, Mate, and LXQT. If you are interested in any of this, please check the FreeBSD playlist linked in the video description for your convenience. Over the last few weeks, several comments were made that some of the packages can no longer be found in the FreeBSD repositories during installation. As always, thank you very much for the interaction. It is highly appreciated and I will try to follow up whenever I can. For example, on FreeBSD 14.1, if you wanted to install GNOME, you would type pkg install GNOME and then it would find the required packages and you could continue the installation without problems. Now on FreeBSD 14.2, that I'm using here. Some of the packages appear to be missing from the repository and you could end up with the error, no packages available to install matching, then the name of the packets have been found in the repositories. The aim of this video is to help you fix this issue and to provide some background information along the way. I will demonstrate this for the GNOME packets, but the information in this video is applicable or at least worth a try for any packets. Now let's make sure the system is fully updated. Start with pkg update. And because this is a freshly installed machine, the package management tool is not yet installed, so I have to install it first, and this will be done automatically. You can ignore this if this is not the case on your system. After that, the FreeBSD repository catalog will be updated. The last line informs me that all repositories are up to date. Let me run the pkg update command again to make sure it just reads up to date and nothing else. Now type pkg upgrade, and in my case, all packages are up to date. So at this point, the repository and all packages are updated, and they all are at the very latest level. Never a bad idea, I would say. But even with everything fully updated and at the latest levels, the packets still can't be found, and the error no packages available to install matching is still there. If you would like to search for a package name, you could type pkg search gnome, and this will list all the packages in the repository that are a match. The package name and the description are displayed. If this is too much information to fit on one screen, add to the end of the line pipe more, and it will show the output screen by screen. Hit enter to progress one screen, or Q to exit. In the list, there is a package by the name of gnome-desktop-44.1. That one can actually be installed. But let's not do this now. You will have noticed that packages in FreeBSD are managed through the pkg command. If you would like to learn a bit more about package management on FreeBSD in general, may I suggest a watch of the video FreeBSD Essentials Series Package Management. In the FreeBSD handbook, in chapter 4.4, using pkg for binary package management, there is some interesting information in chapter 4.4.2 where quarterly and latest port branches are described. FreeBSD offers two branches. The quarterly branch provides users with a more predictable and stable experience for port and package installation and upgrades. This is done essentially by only allowing non-feature updates. So in theory, they should be more stable and better tested. But besides the quarterly branch, there is also the latest branch and that will provide the latest versions of the packages to the users. It appears that in FreeBSD 14.2, some of the packages have been removed from the quarterly brands, and now as a result, they can no longer be found. In the comment section that I referenced earlier, viewers have commented so far about GNOME and Cinnamon. So let's try it out and switch from the quarterly brands to the latest brands. To do this, list the contents of the directory forward slash etc forward slash pkg. Where there is only one file present, the file freebsd.conf. You could make a copy of this file as a backup, but because it is a fairly simple file, as you will see in a minute, I'm going to edit it directly. Open this file with your favorite editor, and instead of my favorite editor, VI, I will use the easy editor today. So type ee forward slash etc forward slash pkg forward slash freebsd.conf and pay attention to the capitalization of the letters. Simply find the text quarterly, and replace it with latest. Save and exit the file, escape, enter, enter. 
now update the package repository catalog. PKG update -f. The dash -f flag forces a full refresh of the repository catalog. You can see here the text repository FreeBSD has a wrong package site, need to recreate database. This is to be expected after the change from the quarterly to the latest branch. Just wait a few seconds and it should show once again that all repositories are up to date. To study all the packages available in this branch, you could use the pkg search command again, pkg search gnome. In this case, gnome 42 underscore 6 is listed, and this is one of the packages in the latest branch that is currently not available in the quarterly branch. Of course, this might and most likely will change over time. Once you have switched from the quarterly to the latest branch and updated the package repository catalog, the package will be found. In this case, pkg install gnome will now find the packages that were missing before and they can be installed. As mentioned, just replace gnome with the package that you are trying to install. Now as a bonus, if you would like to list the differences between the quarterly and the latest branch, you can optionally execute the next steps. Redirect the output from the command pkg search gnome, or your packets, to a file, for example, before.txt. Now change the branch in the freebsd.com file, now update a refresh of the package repository catalog with force, and run the same command again. This time redirect the output to the file after.txt. The before and after files are now available. With the difference command diff, you can compare the content of files. So let's run diff before.txt after.txt, and this will show the differences. The earlier mentioned GNOME 42 underscore 6 is in the list, but also GNOME Chess, GNOME Games, and more. If all else fails and the package you are looking for is no longer in the quarterly or the latest branches altogether, you can of course always compile and install your own packets through the FreeBSD ports collection. A link to the video FreeBSD Essentials series working with the FreeBSD ports collection is once again linked in the description for your convenience. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.